The fruit and vegetable growing industry is a large worldwide industry related to many other sectors, including food shipping, food processing, and food packaging. The demand for fresh fruits and vegetables is continuously on the rise. The detection of fruit ripening is critical to all subsequent chains of events. Thus far, advanced wireless and IC technology has not penetrated the fruit and vegetable markets except in very little aspects related to monitoring, the storing and transportation conditions for fresh fruits. This includes monitoring of the humidity and temperature conditions in which the fruits are located without measuring the actual properties of the fruit tissues. This project has been granted by the Academy of Scientific Research and Technology to Nile University to develop a miniature bioimpedance measurement device equipped with a wireless transmitter for the real-time monitoring of the growth rate and ripening of various fruits in the field. Bioimpedance is a form of relating biological tissue properties to a standard electrical circuit model with measurable parameters. The project has encountered many milestones, starting by a comprehensive literature survey about the problem. This includes many field visits. The second milestone was the proof of concept, where a working prototype was developed and tested on aging of apples and different fruits. The third milestone was the manufacturing of 30 final version hardware. These hardware were tested on different fruits and vegetables including strawberries, figs, tomatoes and others. The final phase was integration and validation of results using a reference measurement device. This project has led to a number of remarkable outcomes, starting with the exceptional conference about this research field. The conference has many keynote speakers from all around the world. The developed device has made huge hits in the media, including in TV shows, newspapers and radio interviews. والابتكار ده فند المفروض من اكاديميه البحث العلمي تحت اشراف دكتور احمد رضوان ودكتور احمد منيا هو الهدف منه ان احنا نراقب النمو النباتات مبدئيا هو يعتبر بديل للتحليل الكيميائي يعني احنا مثلا احنا عايزين نشوف اي تشو سواء كان اي النسيج سواء كان في النباتات او في النسيج حي فهو احنا بنعمله التحليل المعروف هو التحليل الكيميائي اللي هو مشكلته انه بياخد وقت كتير وبياخد فلوس تكلفه فهو ده يعتبر اسمه تحليل كهربي اقرب مثال ليه لو انت عارفه الميزان اللي هو بيحدد نسبه الفاتس والميه في الجسم الدهون والميه هو بيعمل نفس الكون The research team has also participated in the Cairo Innovates exhibition with the attendance of the Ministry of Higher Education An international conference has been organized inside Nile University as a part of the ASRT project. This conference has included a research paper regarding banana growth monitoring, workshops and international keynote speakers. Last but not least, four published papers in high-impact factor journals such as IEEE Access, International Journal of Electronics and Communications and Applied Soft Computing as well as four papers in the IEEE conference and one book chapter. We would like to thank the Academy of Scientific Research and Technology for its continuous support to researchers and research institutes in Egypt. <laughs>